All right, Leo, let's get into your reading. You're starting off with, of course, the community card. Uh, you might be gaining a lot of attention, being in the spotlight. Um, you could be well known in the community, uh, have a lot of friends, putting yourself out there, having fun, round and round. Okay. Um, higher power and yang. Ooh, you got that fierce fiery energy going on. I feel like you're manifesting. You could have been feeling like your wheels were stuck in the mud. You weren't gaining any traction. You could have been kind of stuck in a cycle. False start, false start, false hope. Things not going the way you wanted them to. And it could have maybe brought out a little bit more of that fire energy that you guys have um, to really go after what it is you want, really put in that work, effort, uh, determination, right? Um, but I do feel like there is a, a higher power at play here for you, which is really good. Uh, let's see what's going on with your person. We have blessed, flexible. Give me one more for Leo's person. Leo's person. All right, two more. Ooh, they're manifesting too. What is going on here? Um, I'm seeing angel numbers 111, 222. Actually, there's a lot of ones. This could be a new beginning for you. Um, I feel like your person sees this connection as blessed. I feel like they are pretty flexible here. I don't feel like they're trying to control an outcome. Um, they're kind of just going with the flow. By the book, they do want to do things the right way. So I feel like they're trying to keep in alignment, trying to kind of go through the process. They're definitely manifesting here. So I'm feeling a good vibe. Let's hope that sticks for this reading, uh, Leo, because as you know, it can switch. But let's see what's going on. Leo's person, current energies, please. Leo's person. Leo, also keep in mind when I say your person, uh, it could mean your energy. It could be flip-flopped, reversed. So place it where you see fit. Your person's starting out, all right, so they could have been feeling a little bit stuck or like their hands were tied and it caused some kind of a tower moment. You could work with this person or have met at work um, for some of you, for others of you. Scratch it if it doesn't uh, resonate. Um, Three of Pentacles. This is one of my favorite energies. This is taking your thoughts, dreams, visions, turning that all into reality, making it into... Um, tangible, you know, um, a goal, a process, and also getting on the same page, building together, building towards the same future. So I don't know if this person was feeling a little stuck. If you guys weren't on the same page, there could have been a tower moment that came in. Yeah, there was some high stress, anxiety, sleepless nights, replaying events and conversations over in their head. Maybe they said something to kind of tick you off here. Um, or did something. Yeah, they could have been a little bit manipulative or they're trying to manifest though. Ooh, is this someone from your past? This could be, Leo, somebody not from like recent past, from past past that you've known a long time ago or like dated back in the day in high school or what in your younger years, something like that. Oh. Could have something to do with children too, all right? Um, you could have children, maybe they do. Or you have children together. Take that how it resonates. Let me get some more. What's going on with this person for Leo? Ooh, yeah. They want a new start in love. Could be Sagittarius, Gemini I have here. Give me one more. What is this Ace of Cups about? Mm -hmm. A couple more. Could be a Scorpio. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. If this person put you, mm, if they were sneaky at some point and put you in a third party situation, Leo, I feel like they want to come back and apologize. They could have been a little bit of a player here and had some secrets that came to light. Oh boy, oh boy. I have Aries energy, Sagittarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio, Pisces again. Yeah, there could be an age difference for some of you. If not, I feel like this person in the past, they, they could only offer you like a page of pentacles. They couldn't come in 
full on stability here. Maybe they just weren't ready. I do feel like this is somebody, and I know you guys don't like the past coming back. This could be somebody from a while back though. Maybe it's a secret admirer. They don't know. Maybe they haven't reached out to you. I feel like you do know this person. I don't feel like they're brand new. I feel like there is a history and a past here. Maybe it was like immature. I do have page energy coming up. You know, when you were when you were young. But let's see. All right, what was blocking this connection? What was blocking this connection for Leo and their person? What was blocking this connection? Woo! There was no strength, courage, confidence to this. That's your energy too. It's a blockage. You guys have a lot of strength, courage, and confidence. You guys radiate that energy, but it was a blockage here. So maybe this person couldn't match that or this connection together just at the time didn't have the strength to succeed. Two of Cups, yeah, there wasn't an equal exchange of love. Um, maybe this person didn't see what this connection was or you at the time. All right, and then we have Capricorn Energy, Queen of Pentacles. There could have been like a mother figure or something that got in the way here at some point, or it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Communication, somebody up and ghost, block, stop talking, fell out of touch. Yeah, there, there was some kind of a third party that happened here. Third party, person, people, place, or thing. All right, could be work, could be uh, friends, parents, could be drinking, partying, not being on the same level, not being in alignment. All right, I feel like something like that was going on here. Yeah, it wasn't equal give and take. It wasn't balanced. I feel strongly that this is somebody from a long time ago that has like regrets and wants to reconnect with you. I'm, I'm just really strongly getting that message here, Leo, but take it how it resonates. It could be somebody recent if it's making sense. All right, let's see. How does this person truly feel about you? How do they feel about you? How do they feel about you, Leo? How do they feel? What are their emotions towards you? Oh, so there's that strength card. Strength, courage, confidence, eight of swords. There's some kind of stuck, stagnant situation or they feel like their hands are tied. It's almost like they want to reach out to you, but they just don't have the, the confidence to do it yet. Let's see, what else? How else do they feel? You could be stuck in a, in a connection with somebody else and they want to reach out, but they don't want to impose. Yeah, the lover's Gemini energy, a choice in love, a soulmate connection. I feel like this person feels, uh, Leo, that you are their soulmate. And it's Scorpio energy again. This is someone from your past. They want to talk. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They want to move things into calmer waters. I feel like they're trying to make a decision here to reach out to you. This person could have a little bit of like an obsession with you, Leo. I mean, who doesn't with Leo energy, you know? You guys are like magnets for that. How else do they feel? How else do they feel? Should I? Shouldn't I? Will I? Won't I? Will Leo fall for it? Or not fall for it, but will Leo answer my call, my text? Will they respond if I reach out? This person wants to plant seeds. They want finally a stable new beginning here. Yep, they want to move things forward. You are their son. Wow. They want victory and success, but they see you shining. They see you in the spotlight. They see you as the blessed one, like the one that got away. You are their happiness. You are their sunshine. Wow, there you are. Yep, but they put you in a third party, created a lot of confusion. Oh, 
right, what are you going to do, Leo? Let's see. Potential outcome. Keep in mind, you have free will. So do they. You can change your mind. So can they. And also, I'm not here to tell you what to do. So use your own discernment. Waiting. They are waiting. Hmm. Outcome for Leo. Leo, you might be also waiting to respond if they messaged you or reached out the hanged man. Yeah, you're trying to gain some clarity or change your perspective here or your perception on this. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Will this person actually give me that stability that I need, that long term? You might look at them like they were at some point like materialistic or cared too much about what other people thought or something like that. Uh, we have Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Page of Swords, they're watching you. They are watching you, Leo. You're their wish come true, though. They want to heal. They want to heal this and move things forward. Possibly even apologize. What's going to happen with Leo? What is Leo going to do? What is Leo going to do? What's Leo going to do? Show me clearly, please. What's going to happen with Leo? What are they going to do? Some of you might choose to heal this. All right. So, mm, you may not. Leo, they're going to they're going to make this decision to come towards you and apologize here or make some kind of romantic gesture offer. I think you might walk away and abandon this. You might you just might say, "No, sorry. You had your chance." Ooh, yep, you are now the ice queen. Male or female doesn't matter. You are cutting this person that's why they're so afraid to reach out to you because they messed up big time in the past. It was definitely a third party situation of some sort. Oof. It may, them reaching out to you might give you that closure though. If you've been waiting for that, it might give you that closure that you needed, you know, so it, it might... You may have a new beginning here. Ooh, yeah. You might you might have a water sign coming towards you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That you're, you're attracted to. Yeah, I think you're... I don't think you're going to go for it here, Leo. Mm -mm. I think you're moving on. You're going to hear them out, though, because you want to hear what they have to say for themselves, maybe after all this time, and it might kind of make you feel good or give you that satisfaction, like, ha, huh, you lost me, you know, good luck, bye. You know what I mean? It might kind of, like, lift your spirits there a little bit, but I think you're walking away. Some of you may not. Some of you may stay. You may try again. Again, use your own discernment, but I feel like most of you, you're just going to peace out of there. All right, biggest obstacles. Follow your intuition on this one. Tuning in, turning in, doing the right thing. And this could have been really intense or you feel a really intense connection with this person, Leo. And that might be a little, a little hard to walk away from, but... If, I mean, there's one thing, if you, if you screw over a Leo, good luck, good luck. Yep. It could have been really intense, this connection. All right, let's see what else for Leo, what else? Marriage, you could have been married to this person or this person could have been married or Something like that. Definitely some kind of a third party. All right, marriage, legal partnership, commitment, marital bond, societal contract. All 
All right. <laughs> soulmate, compatibility, companionship, your best life partner. It might be a soulmate that you have coming towards you because I feel like you do have somebody coming towards you. I feel like it's a water sign. Cancer, too, is stronger. Um, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I, I don't know. I know a lot of people. It's fire and water, but I love Leo and Cancer energy. I don't know why. I feel like it just clicks. <laughs> All right. Uh, creativity, inspiration, productivity, creation, bring out the greatness within. See, you are shining right now. Receive. Open-minded, abundant, ready. It's your time to receive. And then ask yourself a yes or no question. I have the answer. Three, two, one. One, the answer to your question is no. Yeah, unawakened. They may have been unawakened, you know, and now they're awakening to this. They're trying to manifest you, that's for sure. All right, let's see. What would this person like to say to Leo? What would they like to say to Leo? What would they like to say to Leo? I love you. I wish things could be different. Ooh, we will be together again. They don't. Mm, I don't think they're going to give up here. I think they're going to keep trying. Oh, what else? What else? I love you unconditionally. The timing just wasn't right for us. I don't know. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I know I messed everything up. I know I crossed the line with you. I will wait for a sign from you. Wow. It's pretty much, I wish I had treated you better. This pretty much sums up this whole, this whole reading. Wow, that's a lot of messages. And it's everything that came out in this reading. Wow. Oh, boy, oh, boy, Leo. <sighs> what are you going to do? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pull some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name, could spell a word of significance. Um, if they have the same first and last name initial, feel free to duplicate it. I only have one of each. All right, R-Z-N-I-V-F-T-U-S-H-K-P-N-B. I'm seeing X too in there. All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, uh, number of days, weeks, months, years, could be an angel number, could be a date of significance, could be an age, place it where you see fit. We have five, seven, nine, and 12. So it could be the fifth, seventh, ninth, yeah, ninth of any month or the 12th of any month. Could be May, July, September, or December, uh, number 57, 59, 75, 79, 97, 95. All right, zodiac signs. Could be their sun sign, strong placements in their chart, or something could happen during that season, like Leo season, for instance, okay? What do we got for Leo? Well, we have Leo, uh, Pisces, Sagittarius, Sagittarius and Scorpio. All right, Pisces, Scorpio. I can't rule out Cancer because I feel like that came in. Um, Sagittarius and Leo. We also have um, Aries came in strong, Aquarius, Scorpio strong. Could be anybody, you guys. All right, so place it where you see fit. But Leo, that is what I have for you this week. 